Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we've got a very cool video for you guys. Um, we got new seats for the truck and we got some SRT seats out of a like 2015 Challenger. So I'll show you what they look like. So this is this is one of them. I'm laying down right now. So they look pretty cool. Got the little sway, whatever you want to call it, SRT. So we're gonna try putting these in. I mean, we already um, started yesterday. Um, Posted on my YouTube like a little glimpse of them, and I guess people caught on to it, and now everyone's starting to like want to get them, want to get the seat, to want to do them. So I was like, I have to put them in. So I came out one night and was just looking at it, and then they ended up coming out, and then this mess happened yesterday and I didn't film nothing but I will catch you guys up on what we did so we took stock seats out everything was pulled together um, so we took it all out so originally the center console and the passenger and driver's seat were all connected as one so we unconnected everything and we also cut stuff to uh, make it fit like this um, this was Ray like this bracket went up from here and went up and connected to the center console there and we cut that off and we also cut the one off of this too sorry about that cut it cut it off of that too so we can get the SRT seats over far enough because for the sliders the brackets for the sliders whatever you want to call them um, on the stock seats they were like in like you've like got two sliders they're in a little bit more than the uh, SRTs. They're a lot wider, so we need to compensate for that. So we had to cut some stuff, and then the uh, middle console will probably get the brackets put back on and weld it to um, new plates that we're gonna be doing. So I'm pretty sure what we settled on was we are gonna go and get some metal and basically make a box out of it. We're going to make a box so we have strength, and then we're going to put the seat on, bolt it through, and then, because the metal is going to be overhanging a little bit, so it's going to be coming out like this far, and then the metal is going to be going like over here to the wall, because that's like the tunnel, because that's as far as over as we need to go, and then, because um, the brackets, these will be sitting on the overhangs, because... We want to we want to use the original factory uh, mounts because we don't want to have holes all over the place. So I decided to just use factory holes and um, yeah. So and then the middle console when that's gonna go in, we're also gonna be using the original brackets. So what we're planning on doing is taking these, bolting them back up. And then slicing this wherever we need to so when it comes down it'll sit on top of this middle bra this metal uh, piece that we put in so for example we got we have like this one here so we were thinking about doing something where we go across go to that very end of the tunnel and this will come down off of the middle console and we're just gonna weld it on like that so that should all work that's pretty much where we're at for the day so we have to go get metal and just start fabbing up stuff and then um yeah and then the uh wiring we don't know what we're doing with the wiring yet because um if you check out the seats they've got a whole bunch of just random crap in there uh, we have no clue what we're looking at here. We try looking at diagrams, but we can't really figure it out. Because um, these do have heated and cooling in them. Plus, it has an airbag somewhere, so we're also being like really sketch about that. So, that's another thing. So, here, I'll put a comparison side by side of what I mean. By the sliders, I mean, uh, I just can't really tell, but 
Anyways, these are in a lot more. Here, I'll get a tape measure. All right, so I got a tape measure. We'll just measure this up real quick. So that's like, it's like roughly like 15 inches. Come on now. Oh shit, no, I need to It's like roughly around 15 inches, 15 and a half. And now the new seats are, if I can get this on there. Come on. They're around like 19 inches. So, I'll just give you guys rough stats for this. But anyways, so that's why we have to extend it a little bit and do what we did. We're just trying to make it as clean as possible and not look like too rough. So, and we want to use factor holes because I don't want to look at other holes in the floor. So, um, I think once we're all done, I think it'll turn out pretty dang good. So, we're going to go get metal and we're going to get start fabbing stuff up and see how it goes. All right, so we basically got the seats out. Uh, we basically made the brackets that uh, we're going to be mounting the SRT seats to. I'm doing a really shitty job on um, filming everything, but I'm going to try filming a little bit more today. So, um, what we got going on here. So, we got the seat all in. Well, we got the seat in how we want it somewhat. Um, it's not really bolted in there yet, but anyways, um, this is how she looks so far. Uh, it's looking pretty dang good. So I will pull out this seat and show you guys the bracket that we uh, made. What we did was we basically used the factory like elbow mounts to mount to the factory uh, holes for the floor. So this is how she looks. So right here, these are the factory um, brackets that went onto the seats. They had pop rivets in it, so we took those out, grinded those out, and we made this nice little plate that goes up and across. And then um, these brackets were all one going up to the center console. We cut that in half right here, so we can get the um, SRT seats brackets, like the slide part, all the way against here, so we were like centered. And then uh, we can extended the holes, extended it so we can put the holes right there. So yeah, they're right. They look past, so that's how that sits. And then we cut the center uh, center seat bracket a little shorter so we can weld it to this bracket on the outside. So we still need to weld that and just do a couple more finishing touches on that. And that's how that is looking. So pretty stoked freaking solid not going nowhere all right so on the other side we're basically doing the same thing i'll show you that uh it's kind of already all welded up too this is what we end up doing um same frame design as the other one got the holes on the outside because the new receipts are wider so that's what we did and then it sat really high so we cut we took the front brackets we chopped them drilled new holes so it can drop it a little bit more um we might do the same to the back just because it does still seem very high um obviously because we put um these on top so it would lift it a little bit more than uh factory but um <clears throat> these right here were connected like probably from like here up or whatever so what we did was we cut that, so we moved this bracket over so we can get it right to the, uh, right tight against to the tub of the transmission, whatever you want to call it. And then we're welding the uh, center console bracket to that, so that'll be all sturdy and nice. Don't have to drill no more, no new holes or anything, just keep using all the factory ones. So that's going to work out very nicely. But the wiring on the seat, we still haven't figured that out. Uh, we have to get a schematic. Uh, the only way we've been moving it is just freaking taking a battery jumper to each motor and moving it that way as we need to so we can bolt it up to stuff. But yeah, that's the only way we've been moving it. Uh, we need to go to the dealership, get a schematic, and figure out how to do it because there's like all kinds of weird stuff underneath this seat to uh, wire it. And then we need to... We also need to factor in into this, and then um, the seat belt. I just oh yeah, I forgot about the seat belt. The seat belt, we still need to put that in. 
plus it has wiring going for, to the seatbelt because if I can find one of the seatbelts here, that's not it. That's not it. Well, okay, right here. Right here, so it got a seatbelt thing saying if you have your seatbelt or not. So we need to wire that in or it's going to be freaking beeping the whole time at me. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. So I'll uh, pick up probably when it's done. Um, I'll try filming on some other stuff, but we'll see. I'm kind of very bad at filming what I'm doing because we just get started doing stuff and then I don't end up filming. Alright, so I got that one all welded up. There she is. It's all welded up. Solid. You know, produce work, but it's whatever. Um, now we're going to weld this one. I just have to weld this right here. And that one right there. And put it back in and blow everything up. I think I might uh, paint it too. Just paint black. And then we'll be all good to go. Send her on in. And then we just have to figure out the... Uh Seat belts, how we're gonna mount those. Alright, so we got those four welds done. Here we are, so. Not that bad. Not that bad. Got those all welded on. I think next I'm gonna paint them and put them in and hopefully bolt them all up and look pretty good. I'm using the paint it because it's what we have laying around, so yeah, nice spray. All right, so now that we got the seat brackets all well lit up, I uh, went ahead and put them in already, and they turned out pretty great. Um, they're in there. Solid, not moving anywhere. So I guess now, um, yeah, I guess we'll put in the seats and go from there. Um, not doing the electric right now because we still didn't get a schematic yet. So what we're gonna do is just um, power the motors how I want it and just slop it in there for now because there is a cruise this weekend in a couple of days I want to go to. So. That is one reason I'm kind of rushing it in a way. So, I mean, I'm rushing it, but not rushing it. But anyways, yeah, no wiring for now. I'll get it wired up. But, um, yeah, I'll put them in, and we'll see how they look. Oh, another thing for the seatbelts. Um, so, since we eliminated that one bracket, um, the seatbelt, the driver's side one, I bolted it up with the middle person one so I mean it's not flopped the right way I probably could just bend that and make it the right way but the seats are gonna have to come out eventually for the wiring so I'm just gonna do that for now but yeah let's put these seats in So we got the seats inside the truck right now. Um, it's all done, all finished, except for the wiring. Uh, we didn't do the wiring yet. Uh, we're going to save that for a whole nother day. But just want to get them in so I can drive it for now. Um, still need to get like schematic and do all that. But that will be another day, another project. Um, but anyway. There they are. They are looking really good. The lighting is really bad. I can't really get. So here they are. Sit in here, lighting's a little bit better. Got that side all in. There it is all bolted up. Not nice. Don't have the buttons working right now, but we'll get that working some other time. But yeah. Turned out really nice. Love it a lot. Um, I might use these, I might put it in here. Um, I don't know yet. 
come across. I might use that. I don't know yet. It's just going to hang like that anyways. But anyways, got the seat belts all bolted up. They're in there. Um, since the seat belt is not wired up, it's going to bing. I drove it around. Before I fully bolted it all in, I only bolted it in the driver's seat. Took it for a drive. And it only bings for like a minute or so. And then it stops. And you don't hear it anymore. All you have is just a little symbol but if you really if it bothers you that much or bothers me that much just put a little electrical piece of tape over it but anyways um looking pretty good i love it i love how the way it turned out i think it looks absolutely amazing yeah, i'm gonna tell you guys but this thing this thing's fire now jeez oh now all we need to do now is lower the back wrap the roof and should be looking really good. But that is for another video. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys subscribe, put the bells notification on so you guys don't miss any more videos. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't really go in that depth of filming. But um, anyways, hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you.